What up, people, people, people? Day 30. Day 30. Government shutdown. Surviving. Surviving the winter storm. It's 12 degrees here in Columbus, Ohio. Okay? It's sunny, but it's 12 degrees. You know? How's everybody's Sunday going? Let's go look at something here. I'm just going to be out here for a bit, okay? Let me fuck out. Get this off of here. Okay. <clears throat> Cold as hell out here. Look at this. So, winter's back, snow's back. We got six inches plus out here. Yeah, I shoveled again. Another Sunday shoveling. Sunset Sunday, sun is sh uh, setting. People are out. It's cold, folks. No matter what you want, how you want to slice it, it's freaking. Oh, it's freaking cold. Uh, I'll put this back up in here. Okay. Um. How's everybody doing on this sunset Sunday? 12 degrees, 30 days. We're going into government shutdown. I was on a training this weekend, okay? And, it, you know, one of the things I always get and seems to happen with me is that people ask me something, then they don't like my response. People ask me about a lot of stuff and don't like my response. Had that happen with me with a few relatives, okay? And uh, one of the things a relative says is that you sound like you're angry. I said, I'm not angry. I'm dispassionate. Okay? There's a difference between passion and anger. You know when I'm angry. A lot of people know when I'm angry. Because when I really am pissed and get angry, I don't say nothing. Okay? I don't say nothing. So there is a difference with me. Knowing me. The people that know me or get me understand that. The people that don't, well, you know, they just don't. I can't help that, okay? And there's a lot of times people, they ask something, and they don't like the response based off of cause it didn't come off the way they wanted to. Well, you know, it's not about you. And ask, and, all, and about everything else, it's really just not about you. This is about whether, whether or not you're receptive to the information that's given. What's up, Kent? What's up? Hey, did you get that message? I sent you a message uh, earlier. I just had this discussion with the uh, 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 boy, Drew, that we know, okay? Crazy. Um, if you take a look there, I sent it through you, through, to you through Instant Messenger, okay? I'll talk to you later about that, maybe through private messaging and all this. But uh, it's, it's crazy how people say... You know, ask you something and then want to criticize it because they because the way you deliver it to them. Okay. Criticize it. Don't ask. And then and then get offended. Okay. And when you and when you answer them, it's almost like, oh, answer me, but don't ask them. Don't answer me too much. And I'm not gonna do shit. That's the problem we got in our life. We we. We dwell in so much dogma and half-ass shit that it don't make any sense. Yeah, just go in the instant messenger. It, is, it was a part of a conversation we had a couple of hours ago. <laughs> you know, you know how he is. So, but um, but it's 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 amazing. I just it's just been one of them things this weekend. Just one of them things. Well, you know what? Lomar told me if you don't get criticism, then you're not being effective. Okay. If people are not criticizing or jumping on your shit about something, about whatever it is, something in the world, you're not being effective. So, <clears throat> I must be somewhat being effective in some ways for people to jump on me and criticize me about something. But, you know, like like in one of the Medea movies, you can't worry about what people are going to say about you because people are going to talk about you when you're dead and gone. So, you might as well enjoy your life. Quit wasting your time 
with folks that don't matter. That's that's what you you're, you're if you're over 50, if you're over 40, you you what you should be concerned with today people is time. Okay? And one of the things I want people to start understanding something. Time and quality. Don't waste your time with unquality people. And don't waste your time with stuff that's just not quality in in itself. And I'm going to use an example, especially, you know, we I know if you're in business, Maybe you should be in business too, because of what's going on with this government thing. You need more income, uh, more uh, differentiated income than not depend on what's going on. But that's here nor there. People, especially, and I'm talking to those in the online network marketing, online marketing. Too many of you guys are concerned with how many likes, leads follows that you have on your social media and i'm talking about every platform now this is fine there's two things which you could be, should be concerned with if you're just on there for social and you got all these likes that's fine that's i'm not i'm not gonna argue with you about that okay that's fine but hey cuz what's going on 12 degrees here in columbus i know it's probably 75 80 down there but as i was saying if you're on social media just for social aspect, yes, I know you're going to be concerned with you. You're going to be concerned with all the likes and follows. That's okay, but I'm directing this to business people, people that are using social media for business. All you guys that are using social media for business, you need to get off of that trip on how many likes, follows. Watches or whatever it, they say on these platforms, and even leads. And I'm gonna break it down why you shouldn't be considered so much on that stuff. If you're in business, first and foremost, if none of that stuff, if no leads, follows, likes, whatever, is converting. And what I, what do I mean by converting? I'm talking about converting into cash, monetization. Okay. If you're not monetizing any of those likes, follows, watches, whatever, it don't mean shit, okay? Break it down. I'm going to break it down to you right here. I have a certain person. 69 degrees. Well, that's still warmer than here going out of 40. Oh, y'all going to be freezing 40. Okay, let me break it down to you. You can have 300,000 likes views or whatever on whatever social media whatever but let's let's use let's let's use youtube for a bit and i'm gonna be breaking down to you i want you to understand this from a business standpoint from a mathematical standpoint percentage wise this is where you need to analyze how you're doing on any social media platform based off of this say for instance, you only got five subscribers like me and this happened because I've had numerous YouTube channels shut down over the past year because, you know, those are the type of things that happen. And I've always had that with YouTube. Not so much with Facebook. I've never had them problems with Facebook. YouTube's been a problem, okay? And say, for instance, you got 3,500 views on a video, but you only got seven subscribers. Your percentages is bad, Okay? You only got seven subscribers. Now, if you got, say for instance, you only got, but you got seven subscribers. If you got five subscribers, but you got people looking at your videos, maybe you might get five, maybe you might get 20. If you look at it from a percentage standpoint, you're doing better than a guy who's getting 3,300, 33,000 so, to views on a video, if he does not, if he does not get any subscribers out of that, percentage-wise, he's doing bad with his marketing. Just because I don't have the percentage of viewers on a video, but my 
the percentage of viewers versus your subscribers, you need to vary out the ratio on that. That will tell you how much, how better you're doing. If you got 3,000 follows but not making any money and you got one customer, one customer is better than 3,000 followers that are not buying from you. Percentage-wise, it's better. You're doing better than anybody who has 3,300 followers, 3,000 followers, but they're not in business now. I'm talking about business people, but they're not making any money. They're not converting any of those leaves, those likes. They have no customers. That person got one customer, and you got, you got more likes and stuff, but you're not monetizing anything. The guy that got one customer is doing way better than you percentage-wise, business-wise. He has a better business than you. That's from a mathematical standpoint. Do the math. You don't have to believe me. Do the math. The math will tell you that. The math will not lie. You can have all the statistics all you want showing how many followers and leads, but if you're not converting, you got really no business. Okay? You got no business. It doesn't matter. This is what you guys got to understand, people. Okay? It does not matter. The, the number of leads, followers, or likes you got. What matters is the quality of those. In marketing online, listen to this. And this is an argument I have with this guy. He says that he didn't have time to target market or wait for the target market tree to develop into uh, any monetization. I'm like, well, and he says video is the best way to market. Well, he's right on that, but it doesn't matter. Now, listen to this. It, has, it does not matter how, what content, what means of marketing that you do. If your marketing strategy is too wide and is not to a niche audience that's looking for what you got, you're wasting your time. Okay? It's like in network marketing. People use the 12-foot rule. They talk to everybody. Everybody ain't interested in your platform. Everybody ain't interested in your product or service. If you cannot market to that group of people, I don't care if they viewed it 50 billion times, if it's not to that right platform of people, they won't buy or they won't subscribe to your channel. Now, that tells you something what you might be doing wrong. You need to narrow your market down to the right niche. See, it doesn't take a whole lot of people up front to grow a following. Okay? I've grown a big following. Well, some people may not think it's big, but I grow a big following on Twitter. I've grown almost 2,000 people, okay, on following, okay? But I'm targeting a specific type of people, all right? And when you target specific types that are looking for what you have to offer, it is not gonna, always going to be the biggest on the mark. That takes time to grow. And usually, when you target the right type of people in any niche, it grows by compounding, like compounding interest. Well, social media's whole, the whole thing about social media is compounding your audience through one or two people or customers. Those one or two people who see their, your product or your service or your video, or your content on their pages, usually if they share it or see it, it goes live and they're looking at it, compounds to out to those people. You have to look from a standpoint of not how many people looking up front, it's how many people that are looking at this from the standpoint of those people that are looking at you up front, how many of those people that they have following them that are looking. It's the compounding effect, people. It's the compounding effect that will help you in business and online marketing that will get you the success that will convert your likes and following to sales. Okay? That's the niche that you need to, that's the way you need to kind of look at social media marketing. It's not so much the upfront. The upfront is fine. But if, you, if you're not targeting the right people, the right niche, the right audience, they're not going to buy, they're not going to even look at your shit, okay? You have to, you have to look at this 
you have to look at this from a standpoint of who's looking at your stuff. Or the people that they know or that are looking, that may be affected. That's where the compounding effect comes from. That's where, this is the, the power of social media. I don't care where it is. I don't care if it's Twitter. I don't care if it's YouTube. Whatever that you are on or using as, social, as a strategy to market any platform, you have to think of it from a compounding effect. Okay? Um, and that's the, that's the power of social media. But you have to also think in terms of right audience. Defy where what your message is about, who it needs to go, get to, where it needs to get to. Now, right now, I'm I'm broadcasting this on my um, profile page. What I'll do after this, and this is the this is the beauty of Facebook. People might not understand this. What I'll do later on, it's not so much. How many that are on here to get this? This audience will grow after I get off the live. Facebook lives grow based off of what, what your audience has started from the live, okay? And it grows afterward. Every, everybody doesn't jump on here to look at your content when you're live. A lot of times people see the replay. And now they got this thing called um, Watch Party. Watch Party is another tool that you can use. I know I've been using it for the last month or so um, to help grow my audience, to help grow um, where my niche, and you can use that on any of your pages. See, this is what you got to understand, the compounding effect of social media. Most of us don't understand that. There's a big compounding effect that happens with social media that grows your audience. Once that, but you've got to understand, like I'm going to repeat this again, you've got to understand that that compounding effect has to be in the right, the right audience, okay? So I'm not so worried about, I see there's one person on here that says looking live, okay? But then when I get off of here, I have something like 20 or something, 30 views. So a lot of you are not saying anything, so I'm not worried about what, some of this technology does as far as telling me who's looking, who's not. Because a lot of times it's not as accurate as after you get off in here and see, wow, look, there's, there was a big audience that was looking. It's because it's the compounding effect of that audience that's been shown, that content on social media. And granted, video. Video is the most powerful of the strategies, marketing strategies that can use because... People can see you. They can hear you. It builds the, the relationship. Um, everybody uses the term trust-like thing. I have a, I always wonder what, what, it, what is the trust-like are you building? Are you building the trust? It does build the trust somewhat to that person. But until you really meet them, you don't really have a reason to dislike or like them. Unless they really say some sp- Start saying some fucked up shit like 45, the nigga in the White House does, okay? Um, half of us ain't met him, but the stuff that he does and says, he just he stepped in a lot of shit, okay? That, that, that's only the reason why they're behind. But you may have people who don't like you anyway because they don't like what you have to say. They, you, your message may make them have to look at themselves, um, but that's going to be with anybody, whether you meet them face-to-face, on TV, video, and that's just human nature. But my whole point with that is you really don't know true, know people, um, especially if you never met them. You don't really have a reference of whether you like them or dislike them. The whole point of all of this is the message. Um, if you like the message, per se, if that's what you're looking for, content to get motivation, information, then that's what you should take. It shouldn't matter whether you like this guy or not because you have no reference of whether you, you know, you have no reference point. Unless, like I said, unless he says something real fucked up, you know, or, you know, and some people probably don't like me because I cuss on my videos. It's not because I cuss because I think it's a more effective mind. It's just, 
I, you know, I'm coming. Hey, it's just me. Okay? It's not, it, it's just me. And sometimes you just got to be you. The, the world talks about, you know, it's, it's amazing how I hear all the time, be authentic, authenticity, be yourself. But it's amazing how when people are truly themselves, people get upset. See, attraction marketing, the concept of attraction marketing ain't about attracting everybody to you, okay? The whole concept of attraction marketing is attracting the right people that get you, okay? You don't want everybody in your business. Hey, think about this. When you go looking out for a job, okay, and you don't get that job, well, that's because they're, they're sifting out folks that they feel that will fit their culture, their platform, whatever. Ain't no different than when we do when we um, um, are looking for people to, that work with us or attracting the right people. And we don't want everybody. Everybody ain't there to fit in your circle. And be used to that. You know, you're going to have some people ain't going to never buy from you. That's fine. Okay. I don't worry about those. We worry, we, we concentrate, we focus on the people that get us, that like what we have to say. Those are the ones I'm concerned with. Those are the ones I want to help. Fuck the rest of the ones that don't. And I said that, you heard me. I'll say it again. I'm only concerned with the people that get me, that relate to what I'm saying, and fuck the rest of them that don't. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, there's no shame in my game, and I'm not going to apologize for saying that. You know, so it, it's, it's about understanding what you're doing, what your motivation is, where you want to, your strategy in marketing is going to be, okay? Because, let's, let's face it, you know, every, we, when we're online, most of us don't have the budgets, okay? We don't have the budgets to market broad like we don't have uh like the super bowl super bowl these guys these high companies are going to pay five to ten million dollars for a 50 second spot okay now most of them are still target marketing especially if they're using the super bowl because their marketing is geared Towards a specific group of people, sports enthusiasts, okay? People who like to drink beer, people who like to, who like sports or whatever. So their content and content marketing is gonna be based off of that to an audience that is geared towards sports, hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, whatever it is, okay? That's target marketing, okay? But like I said, most of us don't have. We get in this ba- this business, we don't have the marketing budgets of five, six, ten, twenty million to spend for a fifty second spot. So we have to be very strategic in our marketing on social media, on what niche, what audience that we want to market to. And we don't have to spend five, ten million dollars to do it. That's why. The great thing about the internet and social media has become is that we are allowed the everyday. This is another uh, thing, a guy that lives, he's from Jersey too. Um, he, called, he said jo- the Joe Bag of Donuts is allowed to market and to compete with the billion dollar corporations without having to spend out the monies to compete with them. That's the beauty of social media. If, if, if more people would understand this, you wouldn't have to. And I'm saying this to anybody who is affected. I'm closing drapes. Anybody who's, who's affected with the 30-day shutdown, if you understood the power of social media, you can make your own money and call your tick, own ticket and, and create your own economy. Okay? You don't have to worry about them. You can tell the government to go fuck themselves. Really. If you understood that, if you have an idea, a product, or service, or something that you can sell out to the right people using social media, the internet, uh, any platforms on here, you can write your own ticket. You ain't got to depend on the damn government. 
What's up, Gladys? 12 degrees here in Columbus, Ohio. Six, six inches of snow. I can't really say six feet, but six inches of snow we got last night. So, but that's what you're going, that's what people need to be educated on and understand that we today, the Joe Bag of Donuts, the mompreneurs, the single moms, uh, the uh, people who are retired might be struggling. You have the advantage to use social media and content marketing to compete with, with billion dollar conglomerates because you don't have to have the ex expenditures that they have. Like I mentioned, social media, the internet will allow you that. You don't have to spend five or ten million dollars on a 60 second spot like they're going to do for the Super Bowl. That's, that's your advantage as a solopreneur, an entrepreneur from home, a home based business. Um, person, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have those expenditures. Plus, most of y'all walk around here with either some kind of Android or iPhone, like I'm marketing right here, doing a video on my Sunset Sundays that I'm doing right here, right now, and people are jumping on here. I'm affecting, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, my, this video, this content is going across different areas of the country. From Florida to California. Okay? That's the power that we have in our hands. If you all know that, you could change your economy. If more black and brown people understood that, they can change the economy in their communities and not depend on that. But it's all about wanting to be re-educated into a different skill set. We are in the information content age, which is the biggest commodity that you can have, which is the biggest commodity that will get you out of um, any financial strife that you, that you might be in. You have to understand that because the days of working for somebody for 40 years is over, people. Companies do not have the expenditures, do they, or do they want to pay people retirement, okay? Them days is over. Most people coming out of college are going to run from 10 to 12 jobs and may not have no retirement. Okay? And, and talking to the baby boomers, there's a lot of baby boomers who don't have retirement or their reti retirement is being affected because of what's going on. The shifts, the disruptions in the economy is causing a, a great effect it's causing an effect to those who don't understand what's going on. So, I'm not sure how long I've been on here, but usually this thing would tell me it's not doing it today. But, um, let's see. I'm cooking right now. Let's see. Beans and rice. Cooking, 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 cooking. See that? Cuban beans and rice. Not done yet. I'm just cooking. But that's what's going on here. Whoa. Okay. Um, it's, um, it's crazy how we, we, there's a lot of people are still uh, upset over this. I understand. I just ran into a video early this morning. Guy, black guy, he was real hot. TSI guy, he said, if I can find that video, I will repost it out so y'all can say he's real hot. He taught, he, I mean, he's using some explicit words towards the 45 with this thing. You know, this thing is affecting a whole lot of people. But people need to reevaluate how they, how they earn. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Need to reevaluate how you earn. Because this ain't going to be the first time. That, you know, I was looking at an older post of mine from last year. A year ago, today, the government was shut down. A year ago, today, folks. A year ago, today, we were doing the same thing. We're not, not as long, but it was shut down. So, with that being said and known, people, what are you going to do? This could be the same scenario that happens next year, and you're going to be suffering through the same thing. This is the time. 
this is the time to not get caught up in this scenario of of the government. The government jobs are not as secure as they used to be. Okay, them days is over also. Okay, them days where um, a lot of black folks, brown people, used to go get government jobs, post office, wherever. Them days is over, man. They're trying to affect that. Them days is over. There is no such thing as a secure job. Not in today's... And that's not just the U.S. That's globally, people. That's a global thing. Contrary to what anybody wants to tell you, we, don't, we do not live in a society where the 9 to 5 is secure. You, we're in an information age. We're in a disruption of, of the way we used to do things. And I've always mentioned this from uh, an economist named Paul Zane Pilsner, who always said from in 2010, he wrote a book, The Next Millionaires. And he said from 2010 to about 2019, 2020, 21, there's going to be a big disruption in this decade of how we earn, how we do business, how we do a lot of things is going to change because softwares, uh, tools are going to be geared towards the home based business person. And, And it's true. Look how, look how things have come, changed with Facebook in the last 10 years. We didn't have, 10 years ago, we didn't have no video streaming. People weren't doing none of this shit. Okay? And it, it, it's, 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 he was so true. There's a whole lot of things that are going on that are affecting the way our economy is moving now. Um, it's not even advantageous to even work. I was listening to another guy today, uh, Steve Rachel. Um, he's another associate in uh, network marketing, different sales, and online marketing game. And he was saying, that, you know, the tactics that they use to get out of their job in 90 days. Actually, what he said, he was giving, he was going to, uh, he gave him and his wife to do it in six months. But it, you know, with social media and the internet, they got out of their job, they could quit the job, got, quit the job in 90 days. Okay, and what he did, he said, it wasn't so much trying to be a millionaire in that thing. He knew that one. He said, and this is one thing I want everybody to understand. This is not about you being a millionaire, even though there's possibilities to do this. What if you you put an investment of thirty five to a hundred dollars or so to match your income? Okay, the goal, people. If you can match your income right now, whatever it is you're doing, but had the freedom to do what the hell you wanted to do without having to hit a clock, punch a clock every day, would you do it? That's a question you should ask yourself. If you can match the income that you are making today and have the freedom to do what the fuck you want to do, when you want to do, how you want to do, get up when you want to, would you do it? Would you invest in some kind of program, some kind of uh, something? Okay, that will allow you to have the freedom to do whatever the hell you want to do, spend time with your children, grandchildren, nieces and nephews, whatever it is it is you are, I don't know. That's something you have to think about. If that was possible for you to do, hit me up, inbox me, instant message me, and I'll send you some information on how to do this. Okay? How to do this. Now, I'll probably, the, the only two ways you're going to get that is you contact me or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay? I have a YouTube channel, Greg, GJS Enterprise Marketing. And the only two ways you're going to get this information from me, links to tools and services and stuff, is either subscribe to my YouTube channel or you inbox me on my um, fan page, Greg, Greg Smith at GJS Enterprises. Okay? That being said, I'm going to get off of here. Um, I'm cleaning, cooking. That's what I do on Sundays. Watching um, Kung Fu movies on um, El Rey Network. Right here. Old Shaw Brothers. Watching this. This is my Sundays. And, and I know some of you probably... Well, some of y'all are probably off tomorrow. You got a three-day weekend. It's good since it's only going to be like four degrees here in Columbus, Ohio. It's supposed to drop down to 11 below tonight. Who in the hell? This is why I do what I do. Ain't no fucking way at almost going on 60 years old that I want to get out in that shit, drive to some job that I don't make, that I can make somebody else money for, 
that might be losing me money, scraping my windows off, and below zero weather to listen to somebody's bullshit. And I know some of y'all got to do that. Some of y'all might not have tomorrow off. If you work for federal government or if you work for our city government, they do. But you got to get up your ass on Tuesday to go to work and do meet that mule. And like Les Brown said, them days where you had to go back to work, most people who hate their jobs, their blood pressure goes up. The heart attack rate goes up between Sunday night and Monday morning. And I always say, people, you have, there are tools today, tools today that will let you not have to be subjected to that bullshit, okay? I want to see most people that I know and I care about get out of that. You don't need to be spending your, your retirement years taking shit from somebody else. You know? Now, if you like that, and I'm going to put it this way, if that's something that turns you on and don't bother you, then what I'm saying is irrelevant to you and don't, don't mean nothing, okay? Is irrelevant. If that's what it is you like and it don't bother you, disregard what I say. But for those, okay, for those who want to get out of the corporate, get off the corporate plantation, want to subsidize their retirement, whatever it is they may want, hit me up, inbox me on my fan page, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. With that being said, I'm gonna get off of here. I hope you guys have a stay warm. If you're here in Columbus, Ohio, or anywhere in the Northwest or Northeast, peace, take care, take care of yourself, have a wonderful rest of your evening, the rest of the week, stay healthy, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace, take care, I'm out.